Hello everyone, uh, welcome back for another episode here at the Aquarium Project. Thank you very much for tuning in, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. But without further ado, let's get into the main topic for today's video. So for today, we're going to be talking about this dreadful stuff here. As you can see, it's growing all over the place. And this is what we call uh, cyanobacteria. So basically, it's like a type of algae in, for all intents and purposes. But technically, it's actually a bacteria. And so I'm going to go over my way of getting rid of it and why I don't particularly like the the way that we normally would would be getting rid of it in the hobby so the normal way to get rid of this stuff is to dose the tank with a antibiotic such as erythromycin um, and yes I will you know I'll be the first to admit this is a very effective method for getting rid of it it will kill it all but using antibiotics unnecessarily is a really bad practice and I'm really not a fan of it um, I mean just in general really to be honest so there's a problem with um, antibacterial, um, anti, uh, I don't know what you call it, but bacteria is getting immune to, to antibiotics, which is obviously a problem because then if people get very sick, we can't treat them. So I'm not a, a, a fan of using them in situations where it's not ab absolutely necessary. So I really would recommend not using, not using antibiotics to get rid of it and I think that it's it's very easy to get rid of with this method that I'm going to tell you about here. So basically the cyanobacteria is really common in tanks that have silica sand particularly because it thrives on real low flow sort of gentle water. Um, having a real low flow in the sand is what causes it to grow on a lot of sand or aragonite substrates. Um, it's something we deal with a lot as cyclic keepers, given we're all keeping sand or very fine aragonite or that kind of thing for a substrate. And having it can lead to lead to issues of it growing. And then I find the thing with it is once it gets growing, it's hard to kind of knock out. But I'll, I'm going to explain my sort of methodology for getting rid of it here. Um, and I think, it's, I think it's really effective. I have great success with it. Everyone I tell to do it has great success with it. So taking that knowledge we have that it loves low flow why don't we discuss some of the the methods or the main method i like to get rid of it so having really good flow is a good way to get rid of it as this tank i don't know if you ever saw it um we did post up on our like our facebook and stuff a few times when we started this experiment but this tank basically every surface you see here in this tank was at one point absolutely just caked in the stuff just every possible spare surface was completely covered with the cyanobacteria and now pretty much as you can see basically none maybe almost that a very fine little bit there maybe but that's about it um getting real high flow going is going to be the perfect way to get rid of it it might be getting a power head like a stronger power head or internal filter um, with that tank i just did heat turn the sponge the airflow on the sponge filters all the way to the max so it was really like it was like boiling it was like frothing um or any sort of other method to get real good flow going in your tank kind of just like chokes it out essentially that's the best way i like to describe to think about it it just out competes it and just completely sort of destroys it and blows all the bits apart so have very good flow have very good uh, mechanical filtration to catch the little sort of particulates and having um, like cleaning that out quite regularly so you're getting rid of it and manually removing all the particulates that are kind of growing and getting getting blown apart and knocked free by the high flow that's going to be the best way to get rid of it the other thing is just like with a siphon if you siphon up the bits like i can show you here right in here would be a perfect opportunity for somewhere i could get in there with a siphon or on the rocks and that just like siphon off the big sheet and manually remove as much as you can is obviously going to help and then once you've manually removed it all, the high flow and cleaning the me mechanical filtration frequently is going to be more than enough to get rid of it all. It'll kind of just choke it out. And you don't have to worry about throwing in unnecessary medications into your tank because, number one, we don't want your fish to be 
stuck with the illness that the anti uh, that the antibiotics aren't going to kill. Number two, we don't want humans to be in the same situation. So it really is like a win-win situation where you'll kill it. It'll be more effective and it'll be a lot safer. Um, sort of not necessarily like chucking along uh, antibiotics isn't immediately going to kill everything, but long term for humanity and sort of the environment, you'll be a lot more safe on an ongoing basis essentially so that's my way to kind of kill it and i've i've done it many times as i said um i am fully with this tank here that we just set up i'm fully expecting that to have a bit of a sino outbreak um i also find by the way it tends to go sort of calm down with more time um once everything kind of settles out and the fish get bigger and everything i find it tends to be less sort of severe but that's kind of my methodology as a, as a cyclic keeper. I've done it a lot of times. Um, I've had a lot of tanks get infested with it. And without fail, high flow, um, water changes to get rid of the manual bits and mechanical filtration um, has always been more than enough to get on top of it. And I think you'll have good success too. So I'd really love to hear if any of you guys give this method a go. Um, it would be, I'd really love to hear it. Uh, let me know how you get on. Um, if you're watching and you have a different method, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. But, um, yeah, if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, I really appreciate the support. And we'll catch you in the next one. Love ya. Bye.